expressions for Junju Romantica. Listen, I think the real reason why Junju Romantica made me fall in love with Yaoi is just because so many iconic moments. So then them all will take a friend of millennia. Okay, let me just put the goods of why I like Junju Romantica. Okay, the pros. The relationships are funny and nice and perfectly timing. But there were just some times where I would just like tell him the freak what you mean. He can't read your mind. I mean, sure, sometimes he can tell when you're sad. And this mostly happens with Misagi and Usagi. But sometimes that does happen. But some, most of the time it does happen with Nuaki and Hiroki. But most of the time with Mizaki and Usaki, I'm just like, just tell him. Tell him. You're not going to make it go away unless you tell him. But he nearly almost never tells him, which just annoys me. So bad. Okay, anyway. Let me just name the good moments of Junjo Terrorist so y'all don't think that I might be biased about that. But then again, how many y'all people don't like Junjo Terrorist either? What I liked about it is so far, I thought it was kind of funny how there's this big age difference. I gotta be honest, the funniest moment I gotta think of is that, mo is that moment where the moment where, um, Shibano tells his friends, this is in season 3 I think, yeah this is season 3, where Shibano tells his friends that he is dating somebody and well he doesn't make it explicit that he's dating a boy but then he's, and then they're like, really? How many ages are you apart? And he's like 17 and then, he, and then they're like, wow, you like the older. <laughs> like, I was cracking up. <laughs> I mean, I don't see it as that bad a relationship. Sure, it's a huge age difference, but I don't see it as a bad a relationship. I'm sure many people don't like it because of the big age difference and all that, but... I mean, it just wasn't that special to me. It just really wasn't that special. Also, guys, do y'all like my outfit? I really got... I just got this from the anime store today. I really like it. I wanted it so bad when I, when I went into the anime store, but I was like, nope. Nope, I can't spend all that money. I'm pretty sure I don't even have that much. I overdid it last time I was there. And this time, Jalisa gave me... I mean, I'm going to tell you nothing about that. I probably shouldn't be spreading that. But still, I went to the anime store. And I, and technically, all this stuff together was $84. I used a $100 bill because I didn't have them. Because, come on. Isn't it obvious? My favorite moment between Nuaki and Hiroki is when is when Nuaki asks Hiroki could he bring his stuff because he left it at the house and here he's like, Sure, I'll just drop it off. Sure, I'll drop it off. And then Hiroki was worried that since Nuaki was keeping something from him that meant ugh. Anyway, my favorite moment between Nuaki and Hiroki Oh, it's just a shadow. Anyway, my favorite moment between Nuaki and Hiroki was, like I said, that moment where he had to, where Hiroki had to pick, we had to pick up Nuaki's stuff, and then Nuaki's. Okay, okay I better make this clear. Anyway, his Nuaki doctor friend sees Hiroki looking all distracted. Distracting the sun, and then he goes up, uh, uh, and walks up to Nuwaki and, uh, and tell him the kids, no. oh, Nuwaki's online. <laughs> and then Hiroki gets so mad, he grabs the bag that he was holding. He th like he pretends it's the bag, right? He grabs the he has the bag, holds it tight. Slams it on Nuwaki's front and don't touch. And he was like, "Don't touch my Nuwaki like that." It's like when I saw that, even seeing that moment now cracks me the heck up. Like I was dying. Of it. I was like, "Did that really just happen?" I was dying. 
just even thinking about it now cracks me the head up. I was dying at that moment. Ooh, that was funny. <laughs> okay, I'm running out of time. Anyway, that's that's all I wanted to tell you. Bye.